Well, welcome back everyone. This is Jay from the Game Bus GK. This is more of Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King. Now, in the last part, we opened up the casino. We did the Dragon Graveyard. We sorted out the sibling rivalry. All was good. So, this took me quite a bit to do. But, I've been the casino. I've gambled my, my life away many hours. <laughs> And I've acquired quite a bit of tokens. How many, you might ask? Let's find out, shall we? So this is the roulette table. And this is where you're going to be making most of the money. This is not in Pick'em. This is 100% not in Pick'em. Um, I believe the, uh, the slots are definitely the same apart from the 100 slot. There's a 100 slot, which again is one of those things where you have a high chance if you have enough money uh it's like i think you have to have 500 to cover all your bases on the slot machine then you'll eventually get it assuming that you reset and stuff so anyway let's go on to the roulette and i'll show you the tokens i've got and i'll explain how this works now hopefully this part is going to be too long i'm actually uh doing this just before i go and watch e3 so uh, this might be able to tell you, E3 2018 of course, tell you when this was recorded roughly. Uh, Microsoft's conference, there you go. I don't care about Microsoft too much, but I watched EA's, so it's like, well if I watch EA, I'm going to watch Microsoft, you know. So, anyway, as you can see there, I've gotten 1 million tokens. This took a while. But here's how it works. So, let's say you get the 600 tokens that cash and carry give you right well what you can do with this is you can cover up certain parts of the board and this is essentially the strategy if you have more tokens it gets easier but what you would do is you would do something like say put so that's 500 but we would put say like we only have that 600 we would only put 300 here now this will cover all the loan numbers. Of course, it doesn't mean we're going to get the loan numbers, but we might do, and that covers a decent base. You know, it's like a third, I guess. You know, you got one, two, three, so it's like a third covering that right there. So you have one out of three chances that it could be a low number. Then what you could do is you could either choose a row and put 300 here. And you can do that in the hopes that you'll get a multiplier of three. Uh, depending on what you bid on, you'll get a different multiplier. This one's free, this one's free. Essentially, if you win both, you uh, you obviously get more tokens. So you would get times three here. So uh, 300 times three is obviously 900, so you get 900 tokens. And if you happen to uh, get both of them, that's 1,800 tokens. What you could also do is you could bet on evens or reds or blues or odds. And if you fail, you reset. Like, that's literally all you do. Shame you can't do that in real casinos. Well, that'd be kind of bad, but... <laughs> that's the strategy. There isn't really much to it. But the roulette is where you're going to win big. And I'd highly recommend it personally because you get some good prizes. Also some good stuff for alchemy. But it's totally up to you. I am going to show you the prizes, and then you can decide if you think it's worth it. I personally think it is. I'm going to be getting some prizes. Um, so that's what you would do. Uh, of course, save before. Make sure to save before, and you just reset. Now, depending on how much you want, this could be very frustrating. This could take a while. You could be really unlucky. Um, I would personally just choose. I wouldn't say, uh, I don't know, bet on the low numbers and then be like, oh, I got a high number, I'm going to go to the high number. Because I bet you anything, it'll then be a low number. I would just choose something and stick to it. Once you have a lot of tokens, this is what you would do. Now, I don't really want to bet this at the moment. I might uh, actually show you off an actual bet, but I don't really, because I don't want to lose all of my money. But um, I believe... This is about 25,000 to 28,000. Obviously, the more you get, like the more tokens you get, you would do more. So, uh, you know, you'd put 300 here or 500 here or whatever, and then you do the same for here. 
what I like to do personally is go for the middle. Nine times out of ten or eight times out of ten, I've been pretty lucky at the middle. So I would basically cover all bases. I would put 500 because the max you can put on a board is 500. Like, you know, per, per placement. So you would fill up the entire board. And these are all multipliers. Of course, you're still going to lose out on money. Like, you're not going to win on all of these, but it covers your bases, right? And if you're lucky enough to get all, like, the middle, say, you will probably get about 56,000 tokens to 70,000. I think 70,000 is the max you can get, so you just keep winning on that. So you bid about 25,000 to 28,000. And as long as you get 56,000, well, as long as you get more than 28,000, you are earning more. But um, you want to get 56,000 to make the big profits or 70, um, and then you're in the money. So this is what you would do. Then you would do this. Then you do this, then you press X, and then there you go. I'm not going to do it right now. I might do it after I've bought the prizes uh, to properly show you off. And then if you don't get it, you just reset. But... Obviously, the more takers you have, the easier it is. So, it's going to be a bit of a chore the first time you do it. But trust me, in my opinion, it's worth it. It is up to you, though. So, let's go and look at the prices. Yeah, there's the bingo. There's also the 100 slot machine. I can quickly show you this off. I think it's this one, right? The, the red one. You can get 100k, but the chances of that is very unlikely. Like, honestly... It is not worth it. You can if you want. You can do that. You can fill it. And you get 500 tokens. Um, and then you have, you know, a chance of winning them back. Uh, but I'm sure people have used it. And reset and reset and reset. But I feel like you have a higher chance on the roulette. And you make more money by, you know, winning more often. Than risking 100. Because this could take you, like... 30 tries to get 100 whereas this takes you 10 tries to get 56,000 or not even that this takes you like three tries to get like 56,000 and imagine it takes you takes you three tries each time you'll easily earn 100k faster than doing it on that so roulette is where you want to be of course you buy tokens on the left here if you want not really recommended honestly tokens are not cheap but um, if you want to, I don't know, get more than the 600 that you have, then by all means. So here's what you can get right here. So yes, I do want to exchange. So you have the prayer ring. Uh, good for alchemy. I think I mentioned before, there was also that dodgy dude who was selling the prayer rings for a ridiculous amount of money. I uh, highly recommend if you want prayer rings, definitely get them here. Spangled dress. Um... This can be used for Jessica. I don't really need it for her right now, I don't think. But if you want it for Alchemy, there you go. Saint's Ashes is a pretty good one. Definitely 100% used for Alchemy. Pretty much anything that like has a curse, you can usually use Saint's Ashes on it. Highly recommend getting some of these as well. The Falcon Blade. The Falcon Blade is also one of the best swords, I think. But you can upgrade it to the Uber Falcon Blade. Now, if you are a sword user, then you might want to get this. Uh, basically, you get two slices or two damages. So, you know, you do one regular attack and you get two hits out of it. So that's really cool. Now, if you use sword abilities, which I assume you do if you're using swords, then you will also get the Falcon Slash. And if you combine that with this, you get four hits. So that's something to note, and also you can combine this with, say, like, uh, I don't know, uh, Metal Slash on a Metal Slime. So you have a chance of getting uh, free hits, you know, free hits on that Metal Slime. Not, like, the greatest thing, but, you know, if you're into swords, it might be worth getting this. And like I said, you can upgrade it to the Uber Falcon Blade, which makes it even better. But since I'm not using blades for this run, I'm not that fond of it. Now, here comes the big one. Liquid Metal Armor. Best, one of the best armors, 100% in the game. You can also upgrade this to make it the King. I think it's just called the Metal King armor. The Metal King armor. Um, so, yeah. As you can probably tell, this is basically made off of a li liquid metal slime. You can upgrade it um, 
to be the Metal King armor, which is basically based off of the Metal King slime. Because they are, you know, they have the hardest metal in the entire game. Highly recommend getting it. The only thing is, it is 50,000 tokens. You are going to be grinding a lot if you want it. There's a reason why I have a million. Honestly, I probably didn't even need a million, but I just kind of water around up. So, like, there you go. Like, hey, I got a million. Hey. <laughs> I mean, it's only a matter of time before you win. So, I'm going to do this right now. I'm actually going to buy four. Because why not? Everyone gets a benefit. Though the interesting thing is that Yankus actually isn't going to get that much stronger from his. But I'm going to do it anyway. Especially Jessica. She needs a defense. So I'm doing it. Also, I definitely... I definitely want to upgrade at some point to the Metal King. Don't think I can do that quite yet. I think you need Aura Calcom. But uh, as soon as I do, I'm going to be doing it. For sure. But this is a really good armor, even before the Metal King armor. So I'd highly recommend it, especially if you're struggling for armors. Um, if you've got the tokens, go for it. But, uh, yeah. It's a lot. So be aware of that. And uh, the most expensive thing, and I would still highly recommend it, unless you're not using whips for Jessica, is the Girahim Whip. A legendary whip capable of hitting all enemies in a single slash. Her best weapon. Look at the boost. She has an attack of 163 currently with the whip we have. She gets a boost of 228. I am telling you, right? She becomes super offensive with this. Physically. Like, her spells have gotten a lot better. But when you buy this and you equip this and use Twin Dragon Lash, she is a force to be reckoned with. Get this whip if you are using whips on Jessica. And it's like, why wouldn't you? I honestly think it's the it's the better weapon for her. Trust me, man. You will be doing some serious damage with Jessica. Like, she can actually contend physically with her weapon now. Amazing. I'm interested in their art prices. Yes. Because there's something else that you can do. You could use this as a way to sell. To make money. For example. I'm going to buy a bunch of Saints. Saints Ashes. I don't know how many I'm going to buy. But I'm gonna buy a decent amount just so I can make some money. I got plenty. I got plenty. I got I got 500k worth of tokens left. So it's not like I'm gonna use it on anything else. And I need Saints Ashes for alchemy anyway. So it's like there you go. Yes. I wish you could get like 999, but you can't. Like the max you can get is is nine. So I'm gonna keep buying. Yep. Keep buying. Make as much money as I can get. I'll definitely be able to buy that outfit for Jessica, by the way, that we ain't got. <laughs> Although, in terms of armor, I've probably got the better armor now. But, you know, I'm still going to get it because it's one of her uh, costumes that you can actually see. One of her fan servicey costume. Yeah, keep, I'm going to keep going. Still got 300k. Keep going. <laughs> and, you know, if... I really need to. I could always come back and do it again. Hopefully I don't need to. But I can do. By the way. This is all we're doing. <laughs> pretty much. So uh, before we move on to the next area of the game. Uh, one more I think. We'll do one more. And then I'm actually going to actually bid. And see if we can win something. Doesn't matter if we don't. But I'm just going to actually show you. Um, there you go. That should be fine. Nope. I've bought enough, I think. <laughs> and then you just sell it and make money. And this is a good way of basically making money if you need it. So, alright. Let's give Roulette a go, shall we? Even the NPCs tell you, like, this is where you want to be if you want to win big. So, you bid on reds. Well, evens, reds, blue, odd. I always go for the center personally. You just hold down the circle button. And just fill the board. You can do 25k or 28k. I kind of like to balance myself on 28k. Only personally because I feel like I've been a bit more unlucky with 25. With 28, it's just like I've got a little bit of leeway. You can go for higher, but you don't want to go obviously as high as say 56. And the more you bid, um, you know, the less profit you'll have. So you don't want to bid too much. Remember, the max you can get is 70k. And it's like likely that you're probably not going to always get it. You could even get like 41k. 
but you're ultimately trying to get 56 or 70. And I've been fairly lucky with middle to high numbers. So I like to fill up a little bit of the high numbers on the right side here. And then I will go for the lines. Like so. And then press X. And hope that we get lucky. I like as how like it's a golden slime. They haven't done a golden slime. They should. They should. That'd be cool. Let's see. And I was very unlucky, but that's fine. <laughs> that's okay. I lost a lot of money. Well, not a lot, I guess. I mean, we earned, we earned 16k. But you get the idea, right? It wasn't that bad. Also, you get the triumph of music. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Also, if I sound a little bit different, it's because I've gone back to the headset for now. Um, Just kind of... I guess experiment. I'm partly lazy as well. <laughs> um, so that's essentially what you do. Uh, unfortunately I lost some tokens out of there. But that's fine. So highly recommend it. I'm going to equip. These arms right here. 100%. Let's do that. Boom. Metallic armor. That reduces damage from curses. So that's also kind of cool. There we go. I actually think uh, Yangus can get a better armor as well. Um, like specifically for him. For now, I don't think it's possible. So, this is like totally fine. Physically, this is good, obviously. Um, maybe it doesn't reduce like the magic stuff. Uh, but yeah. Alright. Now we're, now we're uh, you know, a bit of a force to be reckoned with. But we buffed our defense. We buffed our defense. We've actually got some decent, you know, full plate of armor. So, so now I'm going to sell the uh, Saints Ashes. I don't think I'll sell all of them. Oh, but that's fine. That's absolutely fine. The shop closes, but that's okay. That's not a problem. But what I am going to do... Uh, do I want to do that now? Um... No, I'm stretched for time. I will do that next time. Um, I was actually going to show you the uh, the hidden area, um, but not actually parti par participate in what happens in this secret area. Because um, I was going to show you at the end of the game, but there is a mini medal. So I figured, eh, get it. Get the mini medal. Get the stuff that's in there. And, you know, completely ignore what's actually going on in this uh, <laughs> hidden place. It's in the mountain. Those of you who played Dragon Quest 8 will know exactly what I'm talking about. But what you can do, I believe, is you can go to Princess Minnie's Castle because because I think there's a shop in there that's always open. So if you don't want to rest or wait for the day to come and it's at night, you can just quickly hop over to Princess Minnie. Um, because she's always open. 24 hours, man. Does she get any sleep? <laughs> Does she get any sleep? All nighters? Oh, she's not here. No, she is. I, I thought she wasn't there for a second. Then. Never mind. <laughs> uh, which one? I think it's the slime, right? You're not even facing me. My brother works at Pick'em. What about the one that works in uh, the other? In uh, Baccarat. <laughs> Alright. So let's see here. Oop. Uh, where's our Saint's Ashes? Alright. There we are. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Um, let's say 65. 65. That's a decent amount of money. I think 390k. Look at that. How many do I have left? Eight. I might be able to sell more. I'll keep it like that for now. Um, because I want to use them for uh, alchemy and stuff. So, but yeah, now we have 400k. Pretty good. Pretty good, if you ask me. Nice. And that's pretty much what you do. Uh, if you need money, you can do that. And that's what the casino pretty much has to offer. Now, next episode, we will be moving on to actual story. 
will be continuing. I just want to show that off and kind of prepare myself. You know, I was going to like do it and then not show it off, but I'm like, no, no. I said I wanted to show everything off. You know, this is like a kind of 100% playthrough because I really like this game. So, there you go. Um, Can I go in the shop on Arcade? I just want to check before we end things off. Oh, literally a few minutes left before E3 starts. I better hurry up and get my stream started <laughs> and end this part. Not that I'm super excited, but... Hey, you know, it's fun to have discussions. You guys will know when I've recorded this. But when this gets uploaded, we'll be way past E3. Probably be like next week or something. Or the week after, I don't know. I just want to check. Uh, I can't remember if the shop is open at night, because it might be. And if it is, I might be able to just buy that that uh, armor. I think that might be the only thing I wanted to buy from this place, was that uh, expensive armor that I couldn't buy. Uh, let's see. You're open, but are you actually behind the desk? If you're not, it doesn't matter. I will be there next time. Doesn't look like it. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright. Well, we'll save it here. And I guess we'll do that next time. And I'll probably show off that place I was telling you about. Again, for those of you who played this game, you'll know. But for those who haven't, um, I, I guess you'll kind of get a treat. <laughs> but I'm going to go and save it here. So I don't have to bother warping back here, you know. And then we'll actually start plot tomorrow. Not well, tomorrow, well, next part. Whenever the next part is. <laughs> it might be tomorrow. It might be like, this might be uploaded on Monday or something. And it might be Tuesday. Depends. I've been kind of wavy with, with scheduling stuff. Um, because I'm, I've am still got so much backlog of Pokemon. I apologize, man. I haven't been keeping up. Things have not been good with me late, as of late. But thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, throw us a like. And, uh, yeah, let me know if you've been at the casino. If you've uh, used this method. I mean, this game is pretty old, so a lot of people who play this game will know about this method anyway. Um, so, yeah. But um, yeah. other than that, if you've got any other comments, questions feedback just pop them down below appreciate it and if you're new subscribe for more dragon quest 8 because we are still not done with this game we still got quite a bit to get through i mean it's an rpg after all anyway guys thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time